Redmond High School. Carl can't solve the SAS triangle. I am working on math homework. I can't solve the side angle side triangle. I guess I'll just plug in random numbers and see if it works. This was Carl's fatal mistake. He just broke the law of cosines. Oh no! How can I fix it? First, you must know that the law of cosines can only be used on side angle side and side 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 triangles. Here are the law of cosine formulas. You totally just made those up. Nope. Here's where they come from. Cosine investigation. Derivation. Imagine you have an angle A from the origin. The angle forms an acute triangle with sides A, B, and C. The height of point C is x1. Because cosine A equals x over B, solving for x yields x equals B cosine A. Similarly, because sine A equals y over B, y equals b side a. Through the distance formula, we know that side length a squared equals x minus c squared plus y minus zero squared. Substituting b cosine a for x and b sine a for y gives us a squared equals b cosine a minus c squared plus b sine a squared. By foiling, we get a squared equals b cosine a squared minus 2c b cosine a plus c squared plus b sine a squared. Then by distributing the squares and simplifying a bit, we get a squared equals b squared cosine squared a minus 2bc cosine a plus c squared plus b squared sine squared a. Next, we factor out b squared, yielding a squared equals b squared sine squared a plus cosine squared a plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Because of Pythagorean identities, we know that sine squared a plus cosine squared a equals 1, so we can cancel out that term. Through this, we get that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a, which is the law of cosines. Whoa. Now that we've learned how to derive the law of cosines, let's learn how to apply it. Cosine investigation. Application. Here we are given a triangle where angle A is 60 degrees, C is 2, and B is 3. Let's look at the formula. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times cosine A. Since B is 3 and C is 2, we know that B squared is 9 and C squared is 4. So we get the equation a squared equals 9 plus 4 minus 2 times 3 times 2 times cosine of 60. Cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half, so the previous equation reduces to a squared equals 13 minus 12 times 1 half. Next is a squared equals 13 minus 6. Then a squared is equal to 7, so a is equal to the square root of 7. At this point, law of sines can be applied to find the remaining angles, but that's a different topic. Another case solved by Redmond High School's cosine investigators. This has been CSI Precalculus. Cosine investigation.